A lot of goal line action in this one between Kenton and Wapak. Zach Sweeney taking this one in from just a few yards out to put Kenton on the board first this game. Also, very back and forth, which is what you would expect. Caden Seifering punching that one in for him just a few yards out. That would tie this one up at seven. Later in the second quarter, late in the second quarter, Zach Rogers punching this one in from just outside the five. Now, four minutes left. And the pass complete to Jacob Eversole. Eversole delivering a knock there going out of bounds. And we give you the replay of this one just to show you the shot on Trevor Crow from Wapak. And then while we're doing that, Eversole gets the ball again and he is loose. And he is gone. 65 yards, gets a nice block from Jaden Cornell there at the end for the touchdown. That ties this one up at 14. But Wapakoneta not done yet with the scoring. Crow with the handoff to Seifring again, punches this one from two yards out, 21-14, Wapak on top. Now, last play of the game. Kenton down by one, chance to win it. Slinging it, and Noah Ambos coming up with the interception for Wapak. The Redskins coming away with the big WBL win tonight, 21-20. They hang on for the victory, picking up their first win of the season. Zach Rogers, 21 rushes, 189 yards and a touchdown. Blaine Houston, 22 of 40, almost 400 yards passing for Kenton. And this is what this is after the game sounded like. Here with Coach Travis Moyer. Coach, you know, they say a plan comes together and for your coaching staff, your kids executed a plan for you tonight. It really did, and you know we fought extremely hard. We knew coming over here it was going to be an extremely tough uh, football game. Uh, Kenton's a very well-coached football team, a very good football team that can strike from anywhere. And uh, you know, just can't say enough about our kids' effort tonight. You know, we worked extremely hard, and throughout this whole journey, you know, we faced a ton of adversity throughout this process. And uh, I just can't say enough about our kids' effort tonight. And obviously, we were able to finish and win a football game tonight. Well, your DBs and your well, your entire defense. You had four interceptions from a guy who had six total coming into the season. You're DBs played really well tonight. They really did. And, you know, obviously for us to be successful in a game like this, you've got to have it starts up front by getting a good pass rush. Our guys were able to get some pressure and and obviously we were able to make some plays in the back end. And, uh, you know, like I said, you know, with the thing we challenged our guys, big time players make big time plays. And, uh, you know, we get an opportunity to make a play tonight. We needed to take advantage of that opportunity. We, we were able to. Coach, you have several backs that ran the ball hard, Rodgers, Mechstroff and, and so on. But your five guys up front, they carve some holes for you too. They really are, and we challenged them two weeks ago that if we're going to be successful offensively, that we had to improve up front. You know, we had to be much more physical than we had been playing early in the year, and uh, those guys have accepted that challenge and uh, can't say enough about the, their effort tonight. And, you know, you talked about some young backs that carried the ball more tonight than they have all season long. So uh, really credit to them, credit our entire football team, and, and just staying the course. Thanks, Coach. Coach Travis Moyer, his team with a 21-20 win over the Kenton Wildcats tonight. Back to Patrick.